Hey guys, it's been a while since this plane has flown, so got a beautiful Sunday afternoon here, so I think we're going to see if she still remembers how to fly. Check the oil. Oil is good. Poor old girl's getting neglected, not getting flown. So, see if we can change that today. And then, uh, I got to get some flying in because uh, I want to get my instrument proficiency check done. And I want to get, I need a uh, biannual flight review. So, I need to get that done. So, anyway... As of the time of this recording, I'm still legal to fly, but in about three weeks I won't be. So I need to get this thing back in the air and get that done. So I'm gonna do my pre-flight check. Um, disclaimer, don't ever use my videos, flying videos for training. That's not what they're for. So I'm not gonna record the whole pre-flight and all that. It's kind of boring in my opinion. So we'll, uh, Probably get some footage of it getting pulled out of the hangar and then we'll you guys can join me in the airplane Back up, silly. Vinton Veterans Memorial Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, one, niner. Zulu weather. Wind, one, eight, zero, at, four. Visibility, one, zero. Clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, two, zero, Celsius. Dew point, four. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, four. Okay, so. I think we got a lot of airplanes out today. I mean, this has probably been the first perfect day we've had in at least a month, probably. I think so. So I kind of expect to hear a lot of traffic, hear a lot of chatter on the radio. We'll come out here and do a run-up quick. Independence Sky, 7-1, turning final, 436, Check our flight instruments. You always want to make sure everything's moving freely. And 
don't hit the pooch. Right, Gracie? You yep. got your headset on, honey? Not impressed. So we had a tachometer drop. Manifold pressure rise. And we should have an oil pressure drop. What should we do? That's all good. Left mag's good. Right mag's good. Okay, slow her back down. Battery's charging. Alright. Tram is set. Alright, rotate 82 miles an hour. Vent traffic, Bonanza 1222 Mike will be departing runway 27, Vent. And even though we've got GPS with all the headings and all that stuff, we still want to get lined up here on the runway and get our heading indicator set. Technology can fail you at any time. All right, you guys ready? We're ready. Tap the brakes, no more usable runway, gear coming up. Gears in transition. Gears up. And then we want 25 squared. Campground looks busy. Oh, I'm sure. A lot of times that campground is flooded. Yeah. And we've had such low river that hasn't been a concern. For the last couple of years, has it? Yeah. Yeah, the fields are still wet, aren't they? Yes. Sure see it. So we can do a practice approach back into Vinton here. We'll head out to the northeast. Turn on our autopilot. Okay, we got our heading set. Altitude is set. Oh, seek traffic, port your chair, jump away, jump away, jump away with seek up. All right, so it should now be flying the approach. That's set in. Traffic warrior, five max Quebec. Planet is five miles to the east. Still bumpy up here, isn't it? Yeah. Crosswind, runway two nine. Prairie scene traffic. So we're supposed to maintain four thousand until we get to our initial approach fix, which we are. All right, now flying the approach. That's why we're practicing. I forgot to set the GPS roll steering. That's good. This will give us a little less severe turn. Yeah. Anyway. It's like I meant to do it, right? Right. All right. Now we can go down to 3,000. Very rusty at doing this, that's for sure. I think it's a clear in a million day. Yeah. Doing okay at the bumps? Yeah. Just don't talk about it? Yeah. I haven't reached for the peppermint yet. Yeah. Yeah, the GoPro stabilizes very well, so it's not really showing you just how bumpy it really is. All right. Three miles from our next fix. There we go, starting our turn, inbound. On 
come down to 2,500. Yeah, I can go down to 2,500, and then I've got to hold that. There's a guy planting. I don't see it. Good for him. Did you really need to tell me that? <laughs> Like the only person in the uh, county. Alpha, turn final. Three, okay, three, hold 2500. Traffic warrior, five back so we'll have to put a little down. bit of power back in. A little bit of trim up. Help out the autopilot a little bit. So now that has slowed us down for our gear speed. again. Okay, my controls. Controls. Thank you. My controls. All right. Double check in. Gear up. Uh, cow flaps are open because we're climbing. Yeah, I'll see if it works. Who knows? Who knows? And we'll go up to 5,000. See if we can get a little bit smoother. Okay. Do you want to explain why you're doing these approaches? What does that mean to the person that doesn't know? So an approach into the airport, uh, if it's cloudy, hazy, light rain, I mean, you can fly in light rain, you can fly in rain, just not convective. So, um, you know, bright day like today, you don't need approaches. You can see the runway, you can see the airport, you can see where you're going, you don't need them. Um, sometime if you're in an unfamiliar airport, you might use them just to have guidance, like if you're in a big metropolis or something and you can't see where the airport's at, you might go ahead and load an approach and fly it just to have it fly you right into the runway and then all of a sudden when you turn final you'll be like, oh, there it is right out in front of me. So, okay, there's our, uh, let me get my heading set. We'll just kind of let the... Let the air autopilot fly us around. So, um, got to get it set for cruise flight here. And Calfab flaps can go closed. Okay. So, um, autopilot's wanting some help. I don't know if you guys can hear that beep or not, but. It was beeping at me. So, let's go straight into heading mode. So, anyway, you have two ways to fly, IFR or VFR. I'm not sure if we've explained this before, but VFR is visual flight rules, which means it's visual. I can see. I can see the ground. I can see where I'm going. IFR is instrument flight rules, so which means um, potentially you can't see if you are in instrument conditions and you're not going to be able to see the ground. Um, sometimes if you're in and out of clouds, you'll go IFR uh, to remain legal with all your cloud clearances and all that stuff. I won't get into all that. Again, I'm not an instructor. So, uh, but anyway, so you have to practice your approaches. I have not practiced them in quite a while, so I now am, what would I say, basically not legal to fly IFR right now because I need to go get an instrument proficiency check, which I'll do with my instructor. We'll probably fly a couple times. I need to get my biannual flight review, which is an, a review that, you know, you fly with an instructor every couple years and he signs you off and says, yeah, this guy still knows what he's doing. He's still legal to fly. So I need to get that done. 
Uh, that's coming up due here soon. And I'll get my... Uh, probably won't do it the same day, but I'll fly with him again and I'll get an instrument proficiency check done and get signed off on that. Then I'll be legal again to fly IFR. Then my plan is to fly with him another couple hours uh, just to get really comfortable with it. I just got to get back in, you know, with the Garmin and the Aspen and and that stuff. Um, so anyway, that's, that's what the approaches are for. So uh, most little airports will have GPS approaches into them. Um, it was hard to maintain that before because we didn't have an airplane that was capable of doing GPS approaches. Now we are. We do have one. So anyway, that's what we're doing. We're practicing. That's what the approaches are for. I thought that looked like Trier. Yep, that's Trier. Um, yep, just checking all of our gauges. Everything looked good. Autopilot's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I'm turning it with the knob on the Aspen right now, telling it which heading I want. Hey, traffic. It's Not quite as bumpy here, but it's still bumpy at 5,000. So that is the disadvantage to having a super bright, sunny day. Yeah. Because those thermals come up and we'll hit the bottom of the plane and just bounce you around all over the place, so. Um, Vinton traffic, Warrior 299 it's Juliet Sierra, 10 miles north inbound for uh, 09. Vinton. You say Vinton? Okay. Um, so, yeah. Not sure what I was talking about, but. Newton traffic, 8705 golf turning final for 14, full stop, Newton. Well, there's Newton, see? And then that's the other problem. Newton and Fenton are on the same frequency, so when there's a call for one or the other, you're really listening to be like, okay, did that guy say Newton or did he say Fenton? And I think Clinton used to be on the same channel. I'm not sure that they are anymore. But that really got confusing because then you had Newton, Clinton, and Fenton. Let's just say some people aren't real clear when they talk on the radio, maybe. That battery's going dead, so that power source is not keeping that battery going for us. I don't understand. Did it overheat, too? So, yeah, we're going to lose everything here shortly, but we'll have another battery. We'll pop in there. Technology. Okay, what do you think? You just want to fly around for a little bit until we do another, another approach? I'm ready to land any time. Okay. All right, let's listen to our... Two, one, five, zero, Zulu, weather, wind, one, five, zero, at, four, visibility, one, zero, Clear below one two thousand temperature one niner Celsius dew point four altimeter three zero zero three. Okay. Get turned back around to the east here. Sorry. You're fine. Good uh, traffic. Eight seven zero five golf clear runway. Send it to the map. Do a screen record. Two, three, three, seven, yep. off okay. seven, left traffic. Deep. For right traffic, we plan okay, a so departure to the south. Obviously, traffic. Going to go direct to nearest airport. Activate, and we will do a procedure. And our transition will be, what is that called? ADCOJ, load and activate. GPS roll steer, that should fly it now for us. Let's load traffic. All right, I'll get slowed down.
All right, I just uh, I might get us there a little quicker. So I just this was moo. We can use as the initial approach fix too. So I just cut out that ad codge and we're gonna go straight to W Z W U Z M U. So that should save a couple tight turns for you. Thank you. And then. Uh, Go ahead, I'm going to turn the autopilot off. Skyhawk 237, departing the area to the southwest. I was in traffic. We're going to start descending. Yeah, 5,000 didn't get us out of the bumps, did it? Yeah, no. And you can let me out if you want to do more. That's okay with me. You think Gracie wants out too? <laughs> yeah. Probably wouldn't hurt me to go do at least get a couple more landings for sure. Sure, right? yeah. Then traffic, Warrior 299, Juliet Sierra, entering left downwind for 9-0. Zero. Then 9-0. Zero. Right on. Yeah, that'd make great content if you threw up right now. Oh. Are you almost there? Not, I'm, no. I'm good. not like. That's good. All right, we're going to turn inbound, and we can go down to 2,500. Doing this one by hand, and not rely on the GPS to do the flying for you all the time, or your autopilot. I wonder what the warrior's doing. That warrior's from Bit. But I mean, like, what is he, what's his intent? Whether he's landing or getting Right. I don't know. All right. Just a little bit more power. Down to 2,500. I wait till my final approach fix before I put my gear down. Then I'll set for usually about 17 inches manifold pressure. Um, that'll get me about 500 foot per minute. Then traffic warrior 299 Juliet Sierra turning to final for zero 09. Then and vent traffic Bonanza 1222 two, two, Mike, about six miles out on the runway, runway 9, GPS 9 approach. Ben. All right, got to maintain. Hello, oh, traffic, sir. Took a 412 area. Four miles east at 2200, climbing 3000, headed east, last call, Pella. Last call? Last call. Was he leaving the area? I don't know what that means. Yeah. A lot of times when pilots are leaving the area, they'll give you a direction they're going and they'll say last call and they'll switch over to, okay. like he might be switching over to Des Moines or okay. whatever. But I don't think I've heard that before. Basically letting you know that over I'm no out. longer on the frequency, yeah, over and out, no longer on the frequency, I'm going to a different frequency. And there we are, we are... Hello. Gear extension speed, so let's drop the gear. Boy, you sure hear it and feel it. Boy, it slows it right down. All right, gear down and indicating. And got my little landing checklist. Three mile final runway zero nine. All right. Mixture and prop full. Take my little check sheet in my shorts there. All right. Watch the bird. Get out of the way, bird. Thank you. Gear down and indicating. Check three. Vinton traffic. Warrior 299 Juliet Sierra. Clear runway nine. Vinton. And four. All right, mixture and proper full forward in case we need to go around.
traffic not available. I'm sorry, you're getting sick. Sorry, I cut it short. Oh, there's Gracie. She wants to go to the window right away. As soon as we land. Yep. Yep, mutt mutt soft. Get to the window. Doing. All right. Posing runway. It's all clear. A little warm there, Gracie. There. How's that? Well, don't fall out. Now, would that be considered debris on the runway? That's too windy for you to stick your head out there. Going off at the office? Wherever's fine. does not do well with bumps. Checklist going. So even though you've just been in the air, sure not missing anything here. Okay, I'm gonna take off on one six. Let's that traffic money at the one two 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 mic back taxi. Runway niner to one six spin. Approaching runway two seven. Did I say that right? Entered runway two seven. On niner, Three thousand nine hundred feet I'm remaining. Or taxiing on two seven to runway one six. One or the other. Two zero six Zulu weather wind one three zero at five visibility one zero. Clear below one two thousand temperature two zero Celsius dew point six altimeter three zero zero three. I'll probably use this opportunity to go out and fly across the field that I need to finish planting corn. The field I'm going to first, so anyway, we'll have it traffic. But add the one two 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 Mike departing one six back to the west. Approaching runway 27. All right, full power. Everything's good. Gauges are good. Everything's green. Wait for air 82. Get up to 400 feet. Then I can start my turn. Not used to doing that when you're crop dusting. Usually you start your turns a little bit earlier to get headed in the right direction. 25 inches of manifold pressure. Twenty-five hundred RPMs. Alright, where's my field at? There it is. Soil looks a little bit dark. Hopefully that'll go tomorrow morning. Ah, I see one guy in the field over here working up some dirt. So now that Kimberly's not in the airplane, I will probably practice like some steep turns and stuff like that. So in a steep turn, what you do is uh, you're going to put a, the airplane in a steep bank and you're gonna do a 360 degree circle, but you gotta maintain altitude. What the plane wants to do when you get in a steep bank is it wants to drop altitude because you're losing lift. So you have to compensate for that and maintain your altitude. I can't remember if it's within 50 feet or 100 feet. It might be within 100 feet for private, maybe 50 for commercial. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, so I'll just use the lower standard. 
50 and, and go from there. So maybe we'll get it 4,000 feet and uh, get ready to do that. Give this a shot. Let's get into cruise light. So it's 24 squared and get our fuel flow set. And we're at 4,000 feet. Heading 270. So. Here we go. So, yes. Definitely need practice on this. I, was, I overcompensated and gained a ton of altitude on that one. So this is why we go out and practice. I haven't done this for probably over a year, so this is why we're doing it. Parry traffic, Archer 731. Correction, eight miles to the west, 2,500. So I'll say my altitude is 4,300 now. And... We'll roll into a turn to the right and see if we can do better. All right, keep the turn going. All right, there, all of a sudden it wanted to drop on me. A lot better. Come on. There, south. And I'll probably go back into a left hand turn. Again, Not that so was definitely. way better. Uh, now left, let's uh, roll to the left. Kimberly would not do well. She was in here right now. Uh, two, three, seven, nine miles to the southwest. Wow, the why do I want to climb to the left? That's interesting. Back down Traffic my 300. 4,300. All right. Now we're doing better. Definitely this stuff, you definitely got to practice this. Way better. Kind of got it stabilized now. Okay, so I need to get out here a ways, so that looks way better. Um, yeah. Say we stayed within our hundred. Anyway. We will Okay, nearest airport. Okay. Activate and let's go do a procedure. Let's do runway niner. And add just correct load and activate. Uh get it turned around here. not have the autopilot on right now so and let's see we got to maintain 4,000 so let's go ahead and drop down to 4,000 all right we will start making a turn and towards our initial approach fix of Adkaj you guys are still with me hey thanks for hanging around Appreciate you guys watching the videos. We're trying to start getting some more aviation content for you here. And we not sure if we've had any planting uh, videos come out yet here, but uh, we need to get going on that too. So, uh, okay. Heading and GPS roll steer. So now, 
Five miles to the southwest. We'll be looping around, joining a left downwind runway 07. I north towards W U Z M U. Was runway the, 7. I was the traffic. Is that how you say that? All right. So I can come down to 3,000 now. To de keep the descent coming. Big city of Dysert there. Yeah, it just looks like it's still a little bit too wet. I mean, one guy planting and one guy working some dirt, and that looks like it might be a little bit iffy, so. All right, descent down to, traffic trying to talk about different things and see if I can keep my, uh, the right basically working it as a distraction, I guess. So I need to keep my descent coming down. I need to keep working this approach, but still be able to, it's good to have practice in being distracted, I guess. Um, they what they tell you is, you know, you definitely want a sterile cockpit. You don't want to have passengers in the airplane and a bunch of people tackling and carrying on when you're trying to do approach. At that point, I have a switch. I can shut everybody else off, and uh, then I can just focus on the approach and not have all the noise and distraction, but kind of good to try and multitask and, you know, so you don't absolutely have to have it super quiet all the time. You got to be able to still do these approaches and have a little bit of distraction because things don't always go as 100% as planned. So uh, autopilot is making my turn inbound. And now I can drop to 2,500. So, just getting to 3,000. So, I was a little bit late on getting down, but that's being too high way out here is way better than being too low. So, we're still in good shape. So, we can come down to 2,500, and then we'll, we'll do an altitude hold, altitude hold on that. So, we get to a jig you, I G I. G U I J I G U. The core traffic six eight problem. All right, we're almost twenty five hundred. I'll do an altitude hold at that point. Two three seven entering left right downwind runway. Okay, they were set up inbound. And leveling out twenty five hundred altitude hold. It wants a little help. The autopilot does. And I'm going to switch to the right tank. And my minimums on this one are 1,260. I can go down to 1,100 on the 27 approach, but this one's 1,260. And it's steering my side to side for me. Uh, it's maintaining 2,500, so it's doing everything for me right now. Um, once I hit my final approach fix, I will shut off the autopilot and take over from there. But the autopilot is really nice to have, just to kind of reduce some of your workload. And I do have checklists here, so you're not seeing it being run on the iPad. Uh, good to have redundancy. I got the checklist on the iPad, and then I've got the paper version as well. Kind of nice when you're wearing shorts, you can just put it right in your pant leg. Airport off there in the distance, and just crossed over our final approach fix. So I am going to disconnect the autopilot. And take over from here. Put down the phone. And gear coming down. Extra full rich. Propeller clear forward. And that is in case I have to do a go around for something. All of a sudden something's on the runway or whatever. But uh, you've got. You'll be able to get uh, 
Full RPMs and you'll have as much fuel as you need, so. Two mile Thank final you, runway Mike. zero nine. Two, 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 Mike. two and a half out on the RNAV GPS nine approach. Flaps in, both flaps are working. Which then puts a little pressure on the yoke, so adjust some trim to help me out there. All right. Checking again, gear down. Got off my line a little bit, get centered back up. Checking again, check number three, gear down and indicating. And I heard it go down and I felt it go down. You guys are still hanging in there. It must be getting a charge off that battery pack. Runway zero seven, Iowa City traffic. And vent traffic, Bonanza one two 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 Mike. Short final, runway nine or vent. I could have said full stop there, so they knew I was doing a stop and not just a uh, missed approach or whatever. Checking gear again. Traffic not available. the fuselage. better when you do it this way, finish up over here because you just can't see how many gallons you pumped in. Oh, sure. How much money you just burn up. Yeah. Well worth it though. She's a fast one. Yep. Good airplane. Set up very well. in there. She's full. She evil. Thirty gallons. It wasn't clear full when we took off though. Twenty nine and a half. Receipt. All right, we'll see if I can do a hot start in this one, girl. Here we go, hot start procedure. Mixture off, propeller high, auxiliary 
high for 30 to 60 seconds. Whoops. Guess you gotta turn the battery switch on. So what's that, what's, what that is doing is circulating fuel in that line because as the heat from the engine, it can kind of boil or evaporate that fuel in that line. So I'm not, I've got the fuel shut off to the engine. So it's just, it's filling the loop and going back to the tank. So um, we're at 26. And they say you can go up to almost a minute on these things just to make sure you've got all the air out of the line. But uh, we had about eight seconds before I started the stopwatch. I'm at 40, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Mixture, full rich, throttle, full open, pump, high until flow peaks, boom, right there. Throttle, close. Clear prop. Sure, it's just that easy. Other than the power switch. So there we have it. All right, I'm gonna put this thing in the hangar.